Theater is trying to, to take what may be a new precedent where you are not entitled to justice based upon evidence, but you're entitled to justice based upon whether you've been an upstanding citizen. They have made all kinds of accusations concerning the victim's credibility, and nobody has questioned the, pres the credibility of the accused, who has a wife, who is accused of rape in his own country in France, who is accused of sexual assault here in this country. Yet the benefit of the doubt seems to be given to the accused. Women here in New York City, and I'm sure across the United States, would like to know that if they are a victim of the crime, that the person who committed the crime will be sent to court based upon evidence, not based upon whether or not you filed your taxes, not based upon how you filed any other application, but based upon the evidence. And we are waiting to see if Side Vance is going to prosecute on behalf of the victim and prosecute the accused. We are waiting to see if Side Vance is going to side with money and power instead of the victim. We are waiting to see if Side Vance is going to renege on the evidence that convinced even him himself to, to, to put seven different counts of sexual assault against Dominique Strauss Card. If you're going to back, backslide and not take that action, whose side are you on? The side of the people or the side of the accused? What will you do tomorrow if it's rights, immigration rights, because here in America, every right you can think of is being trampled upon. Yeah, sure. Do you feel like she was asked a lot of questions that are already relevant to this case? Like I said, the accused is accused of rape in his own country. He came here and sexually assaulted somebody, and by his own admonition, had several sexual affairs outside of his marriage. So let's look at his credibility. Is he a moral, upstanding person? No. But the focus has been on the victim, because she had the audacity to make charges against a very rich, powerful, and wealthy man who has aspirations of being the president of France. And that being the case, you shouldn't come to another country and try to make a victim of people who are there to serve you. She wasn't a whore out prostituting when she was sexually attacked. She was at her workplace making a living for herself and her child. That's right. But the media has tried to paint her as such. And I take exception to it as well as all these women here who take exception to being sexually attacked and then being made a, vic a criminal in the media. How can one get in touch with the organization? Dan Chaz, 007.